from? Team Fury. That's the one, number one, Team Fury. Yeah. First of all, Ramsey, let's find out a bit more about what you do with Team Fury. Tell us how you joined Team Fury. Well, basically, we just met Tyson at a, a boxing match, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, Asgard dared me to go up and speak to him. Right. So I said to him, I go, well, that's the wrong move you made, because I'm a people's person, so I'll, talk, I'll go and talk to anybody. Right. So I approached him, uh, grabbed him, basically, yeah. took, took my uh, hand out to, to shake his hands. Obviously, as a tall gentleman, he didn't look down. He gave me a frown, but when he looked, my, looked at my hand, out to shake, trying to shake his hand, he, he, he just shook my hand and we started talking. Right. Ten minutes later, uh, we sat down and started talking uh, uh, about you know what I do and you know, I'm a gas engineer by trade. Right. So I'm just talking to him and then I, then that's it. he went about his own way, uh, speaking to the fans and. Uh, and uh, me and Azgi went our own way. Two weeks later, we get a phone call. Oh, uh, can you do? Um, why don't you? Why don't you boys go for your uh, corner licenses? Uh, why? Uh, you know, we, I, I'll get on with you. I mean, I just had a chat with him ten, ten minutes, and he, I, I don't know what he saw in us. Probably the loyalty or yeah. the honesty he probably seen in us, yeah. and, he, and he approached us, and he goes, "I want you to be in the team." So basically, we started from there. Right. Um, we got to know, obviously. The master and commander, yes. Mr. Peter Fury, right. uh, he took us on board yep. um, and basically nurtured us um, yeah, to, to do the corners and how to do uh, what's the best way, right. how to block off all the media, just concentrating on the boxing, wow. the boxer itself, you know what I mean? So basically when we're, go, we're, out, when we're out in the corner, we're not looking around at anybody else yep. or who's watching us or who's, we're just solely concentrating on what Peter Fury needs in that corner. Um, so yeah, and that's how he started, and and, and we're here now, you know, um, and it's amazing. He said, started from the bottom, and now we're here. Now we're here, mate. Honestly, it's amazing. It's it's, it's been a, uh, I call it a fury ride. Yes. You know, it's a, been an amazing ride. Uh, the family welcomed us like like a part of their yeah. family. So you can't get anything better than that. What is it, what is it, what is Tyson like? Oh, you know what? It's, Behind the camera. Yeah, you know what? A lot of people take him. For Take him for, for different um, yeah. aspects, you know, because of the way he is on the media. Yes. Uh, but when you see him behind the scenes, he's such a clever gentleman. I know he's compared to me, I'm 45, he's yeah. 27, he's, yeah. he's, he's, he's like a young kid to, to right. compare to me. But when I sit with him and hold a conversation with him, it's like I'm talking with somebody who's really clued up with life and who's right. really educated. Okay. You know, and it, it's so amazing that how humble he is, you know, okay. uh, and how, you know, it's hard for people to let you into their family, yeah. to introduce everybody to yeah, their yeah, family yeah, to yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. and for him to do that to us, I mean, it's like, it's, you know, it's like uh, uh, better than nothing in this yeah, world, absolutely. you know, uh, and hence, that's why we've become close friends of his, Yes. Close friend of John, Mr. John Fury, Mr. Yes. Peter Fury, yes. all the kids in the family. Yes, uh, and you know it, it's it's become become a bond. It's not yes. like a team now. It's like a family. Yes. So and and, that, and that's how we work we work together. Right. Um, and it's amazing. It's a good feeling as well. Nobody's got animosity. Oh, why don't you? He has to do that, and he has to do that. Everybody knows their role. Right. Uh, and and everybody just you know gets on with it. So it's the World Heavyweight Championship. It was the first time Team Fury had. Be at that level. It's all right fighting British, Commonwealth, European, but at world level, when, when everything's on the table yeah. and everything has to be meticulous. What was it that gave you guys the confidence, not so much tactically, that you'd be professional enough at that level, level. that you would get things covered? What was it that you were able to, you know, the canvas, the gloves, yeah. you know, these are things that other camps don't check. That don't, yeah. other camps that are probably more well known yeah. than Team Fury. Yeah have been done by yeah. Pulev's camp, got done by, you, you just go for the, the list of the challenges yeah. that probably had those things and weren't aware of it. What was it that made Team Fury able to spot these things? You see, from, from the beginning when we started with Team Fury, yes. me and Asgi, we always made sure the changing rooms were clean, Yes. you know, and nobody bothering us, Yes. the water is not Nobody touches the water. Right. Somebody stays in that changing room. Yes. When we've got our stuff in that changing room, really? somebody always stays there. Uh, even if the changing room's empty, yes. one of our team members, our team Fury, stays with the water, with the Vaseline, with everything, so nobody really? tampers with it. Wow. Uh, so we really take it serious. Don't forget, if something was to be tampered with, example, water, Vaseline, yeah. who will be questioned? 
corner man. Wow. Me and Aski, so we've got a lot to lose. You. So have, you don't have to mention names. Have you had any incidents since you've been with Team Fury where that possibly could have been the case? That could have happened had you not been there. You don't have to mention names. Yeah, but I mean, uh, uh, numerous uh, occasions they've uh, put uh, uh, air conditioning on to um, a maximum level, which is hot. Yes. Uh, where you're actually sitting there and you're yeah, just sweating. Okay. Yeah. You know, the box is sweating and he's getting uncomfortable. Right. So that, that, that's one of the tactics to frustrate the boxer in the changing wow. room. Wow! You know, it's, 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 it's amazing how temperature can, uh, can uh, uh, bother your uh, physique at that moment, even right. the fitness. Yes. Because you're sweating, you're sweating a lot of water out. You're going to have... You're dehydrated. Gonna dehydrated. Yes. If you don't you take intake, if you drink a lot of water, you get bloated. Yes. You can't fight. So it's them kind of tactics you've got to watch Interesting. out. Interesting. You know, it's amazing because it's, it's not even... It's common sense more like. You know, it's like he's your boxer. It's your job to look after him. But you know, these things are not talked about. No. You know, how's your training camp? No. You know, what? Well, these are the things that boxing fans really need to know about. Yeah. They need yeah. to understand these yeah. things. Yeah. You know, um, it's not just about, you know, how's your training camp? How, how's your weight? How are you feeling? Yeah. Yeah. We get all these superficial questions and yeah. this. Everything matters, you see. It's, it's just what it is, is don't forget, a boxer trains eight weeks yes. to reach to peak yes. for, for him to be ready to fight. Yes. While Tyson's been let down so many times for this World Heavyweight Championship that yes. he's been in constant training for six, five to six months. Yeah. Now you know what that means, that he, he's peaking, he's and not dropping. peaking, he's peaking. dropping, and, you know, and that has a big effect on your, on, on your health. And, and for Tyson still to perform on the night to is be, amazing. To be honest, when we first met him, yes. I knew it in my heart that he's going to be the world champion. You know why? Yeah. Because he's got the confidence. You know, he's got that confidence where if you give him anything, he'll, he'll, do, it. he'll do it to yeah. his most best. Yeah. And, and it's so amazing because as, as a youngster, yes. and, and as a youngster growing up, yes. not without his dad for a number of years, yes. and for him to keep it together, yes. keep his brothers together, keep his yes. family together, yes. And keep, keep on boxing with yes. all the negative vibes that he's been getting. Yes. It's amazing that he's still boxing, to be honest. Question. I mean, you're from the, the, the traveling community. Uh, no, no. Tyson's from the traveling community. You're from the Muslim community. How does that work with you well, in, in the cab? Well, well if, you, if, if you really go back yes. to history, yes. we're travelers as well. Yes. Don't forget, we travel from uh, Pakistan to yes. this country yes. to make a better life. Yes. So, uh, as, when somebody says, Oh, Tyson's from the traveling community. Yes. Where as we as well are from the, the traveling, traveling community. community. So we can understand each other, where we come from, how much hardship we've had. And my family as well. Same, 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 thing, exactly. yeah, same, thing, same thing with you guys. So the yes. thing that you would understand how hard it's been growing up. Mm -hmm. Same thing with us, like how hard it's been growing up. And same thing with Tyson. Tyson. Don't forget, you know, it's a shame. The biggest shame that hurts me in my heart yep. is... That Tyson Fury is a British citizen. Yes. You cannot get better than that. And he still gets it. And and he still gets the as a British citizen, yeah. we should be holding him with the highest respect because he's bought he's done something what nobody could do for eleven to twelve years. Now you mentioned something about media and blocking media out. Yeah. There are a lot of people in the media who were given Tyson stick, obviously now he's world champion. Yeah. Are you going to block those media off? Are you going to prevent them from getting interviews and stuff like that? Because no, you see, if, if the media, like what Tyson says if yeah. uh, uh, on a press conference, yes. if you want to publish what I say, by all means. If you don't want to publish it, by, by all means not. It doesn't bother you. So you, wouldn't, so, you, so you wouldn't go out of your way to block these people that have just been so disrespectful and stuff? At, at, the, at the end of the day, I can't really answer that question. Yes. Yeah. Everything boils down to Mr. Peter Fury. Okay. You know, I mean, he's like, whatever he says, we do. But well, he, he obviously know. is not happy. He's clearly no, not happy. No, the tweets no. that he's been sending, I oh, will talk to Peter later, no. catch up with him. Um, I mean, it's sad though. I it mean, is. You, you know, the, 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 a young guy is gone across the water, bought, the, bought his bounce back. Yes. Right? He should be respected at the highest respect, at least given that respect, at least, you know. What's going on is people are talking about Anthony Joshua, people are talking about David Hay, yeah. Deontay Wilder. Yeah. I mean, fair play, you know, and, yeah. you know, Anthony, you know, you know, all people, you know, all these guys. Yes. Why don't they fight Huey Fury first? Why do they have to go to Tyson Fury first? Why can't they fight Huey Fury? 
Let's see if they can handle Huey Fury first. Then, if they can handle Huey Fury, it's then we'll take them to Tyson Fury. What's the story of Huey? Do you think these guys are going to fight Huey? What's going on with that? Huey's a very, you know what? I call Huey my smooth operator. Right. Yeah. It's the way he moves in the gym. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the way he fights, the way mm -hmm. he moves. Mm -hmm. It's like you could watch him all day long. You know, it's like the professionalism in a young kid is so amazing. I could watch him all day long, to be honest. You know, and yeah, he's definitely world championship material. Ramsey, thank you so much for talking to Baylor TV. Thank you, my brother. Okay, thank you, Team Fury number one.